All right, guys, I think we are live. I've had problems with YouTube uh, almost all week this week. I'm not sure if it's YouTube or my internet or the weather or a combination of all three. So if there's anybody in the chat, uh, give me a heads up on this to make sure this works. Let me get situated here. We'll go into today's topic. All right, I got the chat here popped out. Very good. Let's put that there and we'll put that there all right sir J is in the house what's up sir J sound is perfect thank you sir all right good so it didn't crash yeah it's I tried to do a live streaming uh yeah the other day and man it's I don't know Hi, Ben. How are you? So give me a second here and uh, to get situated. And we'll go to today's topic. I'll post the link here in a second if, if anybody wants to join me. Uh, let's see. <laughs> All right, Mr. Surge. I'm feeling a surge of information here. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> all right there's a link there if anybody would like to join if this works um okay it looks good on my end so we'll just leave this the way it is and uh let's go back to jitsi it says my microphone is noisy well jitsi i'm sorry i don't believe you so nye. <laughs> oh my goodness anyway all right I think we're good uh, your wife is watching the telly just next to the PC well tell her to get off hey hey no I'm just just kidding present arms is in the house welcome how are you all right I think we're good to transition here Very good. It's working, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I got the chat up. So the link is there. If, if somebody wants to join, I won't be on too long. Um, I'm waiting for an important email. Hello, Yugi. How are you? We'll give this a couple minutes. Then we'll go into today's uh, topic, you know, as a Linux and Windows user and Chromebook now, I'm always looking to uh, to find the most, some of the most unique, unusual um, tech stories, whether it's, you know, Linux, Windows or Chromebook. And I came across one this morning. As Ben Gento is in the house. Oh, you are. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know if the people can hear you, but... Uh, all right. Can the people hear Ben? <laughs> I think Ben needs a nap. It doesn't look you man it does not look like it you cannot hear a band all right give me a second here man Jitsi, you got to make this so freaking con you know I, ha I have a feeling that gyps gy gypsy no that Jitsi works better in windows I'm sorry to say that but that's how i see it i know i'm going to see if i can fix it here give me a second uh i'm just going to the settings here we'll figure it out I hope, I hope, audio. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Do that. Let's see if that works. Uh, Hello, everybody. All right. Can you hear Ben now? Uh, Jitsi, 
<laughs> oh gosh, Serge. Oh my god. Jitsi is a real gypsy. But a ball. Welcome to some nonsense news for today. Can you hear Ben now? If you can't, then we'll have to start over. Good now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, All right. Thank you. Thank you. CDFW, sir. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Hi, Hi, Ricky. Very good. He is here. They can hear you. Um, is Ricky, there a way up, to man? manually adjust the audio in Jitsi, Serge? Because it go the the audio Michael goes it's 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 like a raccoon on drugs. It just you know. Or am I stuck with the uh, oh, no. automatic gain? I don't know. How are you, Ricky? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm just installing Endeavor OS on a USB 3.0 stick. All right, cool. <laughs> This I'm way I can pretty much take it. Pretty, pretty much this way I can take it wherever I want to go. That's good. Serge, uh, I um, have it. I'm running this on the Chromium. Chromium. I'm not using Firefox. No, I saw the. I tried Firefox with this, but it came up with a little pop-up warning me. So I don't use it in the Firefox. Okay. But I, I was looking for a manual setting for the mic input, Serge. I don't see it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. Anyway. All right, we'll give this a few more minutes if somebody else wants to jump on. Um, as you can see there on the, on the scrolling uh, notes there at the bottom, I'm going I'm going to bring back the Linux A team. It's been six years, believe it or not. Uh, it's a long time. So I love the name Linux A team, bringing out the best of the best. Oh yeah, and not just you know tech but the best of the best in terms of personalities fun technology news nonsense so mm -hmm. that's where we're at the that's linux a team yeah da, 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 da. all right i can't sing okay you know maybe i'll have, I'll have stephanie well, do uh, uh, a bit of stephanie do a jingle for, a bit of news for today um today is national pizza day <laughs> <laughs> for us italians it's always national pizza day well, I'm just saying, globally. Hey, hey, Giuseppe, what is National Pizza Day? Tomorrow, okay. And the next day, and the next day. Oh, okay, all right, okay. Oh, Click the gear, which gives you access to audio and video settings. Serge, I've tried that. There's no there's no input level mic setting in Jitsi. Yeah. It ain't there. It, there is a StreamYard yeah. where I can disable the automatic gain. I can't do that in, in Jitsi. So tell 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 your friends there in France to fix that because that's annoying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's <sighs> Does anybody else want to join? The link is in the show notes here. <laughs> or in the chat rather. Yes. One more time. There is the link. This is free. Oh, you boy. need to adjust the audio and POV control. Does not work. Oh. Try that, Serge. Oh. It does not work. If if I adjust it, then we start talking. It starts doing this a slider. It doesn't work. Yeah. Hmm. So I don't know. It does not work. It, it it moves on its own. I can't lock it. So you know. If you hear in the background music, that's my friend CD from Pittsburgh. I'm getting feedback. It's from Alistair. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Um. I'm looking at the OBS levels. They're okay. I just wish I could still do it manually. So it doesn't look like it's going into the red. Yeah. But uh, I just wish I had more control, so, and I don't, but it is what it is. All right, let's go into today's topic. I'll leave the link up there if, if somebody else wants to join as we talk. Feel free. All right, this is, um, well, System76, uh, a very good company uh, based out of, um, I believe, Colorado. So I was going through this, and this caught my attention this morning. So if I was to uh, configure a Linux 
uh, you know, themed or not a theme, but a Linux based hardware PC, you know, for YouTube to render, you know, 4K video or render any video much faster than what I can now. Uh, this is based, you can get this either off Pop! OS or Ubuntu. I've tested both, both seem okay. Pop! OS may be a little bit lighter, I'm not really sure. Uh, but if you go through the uh, System76.com website, this is the Filio, uh, I guess, type of desktop, uh, thread rippers. So if I was to almost max it out, you know, 64 core, Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, the processor, the memory, 256, uh, you know, RAM, uh, 256 gigabyte of RAM, uh, a couple of hard drives or SSD drives, one main drive, and of course at least one backup, right? You mm -hmm. can never have yeah. enough backup, so two terabytes should be enough if you're doing 4K, I would imagine. Uh, you can add an, an, an additional drive, which I, I wouldn't probably need. Uh, you know, GPU and all that. <laughs> Notice that this says non-refundable <laughs> for the Titan CUDA uh, GPU. Uh, a second one, don't need that. Wireless, don't need a display. Of course, the warranty, three years. Some recyclable. And as you can see here, yeah. it's it's $12,000. And I yeah. just missed the financing. The only go as high as 10000 Darn it! I was almost there, but no. Uh, so this is a dream computer. Whether right. you use Windows, Apple, or whatever, this is a dream computer. Right. Uh, I would love to have something like this where I can edit a 4K video in like, I don't know, 2.9 seconds and I'm done, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but if I was to get a JazzDAO computer based off of Linux, I would get this. Now, of course, the question is, uh, who's this type of computer marketed to? Is it Linux users? I was looking at the Linux users on YouTube, strictly AdSense revenue. I'm not talking about sponsorships or donations. Going by what I think they make on AdSense, there's not a single Linux YouTuber that can afford something like this. Going by AdSense. Now, if there are ex extraneous uh, revenue sources, I don't know. But strictly going by what I've seen, this is not designed for the average Linux user. This is designed for the Mac user. It sounds crazy, but look, if you buy one or two, three Macs for your family, for yourself, your wife, your kid, there's six thousand dollars right there, right? Give, you know, give or take. Of course, you have iPhones. Yeah. There's another two thousand dollars, and now you have eight thousand dollars. Not too far from this, right? So this is this may sound weird, but this is geared towards the Apple user who has the money to buy this. Uh, you know, Mac users on YouTube who use Macs have done very well. You know, fi financially, although I'm not sure they would buy this because if you're happy with the Mac, why would you buy this, right? I know Ben, you're into Macs and you trust them. Yeah, I do. So uh, this, I think this is geared to businesses, not to the content creator, because the average Linux content creator, I could be wrong, uh, they can't afford this. I know I cannot. Even with the pay PayPal and Patreon supporters, by the way, thank you. I don't say it often enough, and I should thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no way I can afford this, um, unless I buy it on my own. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying it's not worth it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying is it's nice to have a USA-based system based off of Linux. And for, and, for, and for what I've heard, these systems are very good. I've heard the, uh, the, uh, the uh, customer yeah. support is excellent. Um, let's make sure that we're still there and we are. Okay. I've heard the customer support is superb. Of course, I've heard Mac support is superb, too. Ben, uh, you, you can probably vouch for that. Oh, yeah. So th it's nice to have a company, uh, for what I've seen, that can compare quality-wise to the Apple products in terms of uh, support, service, and, of course, price. Uh, yeah. I mean, so 
Awesome. Now, full this full disclosure, this is not a sponsored video by System76. I'm in, I'm just going by what I see as a Windows Linux user. And if I had the budget, would I buy something like this? Yeah, because I would be damn curious. So <laughs> would I. Yeah, I would be damn if this could really compare to a top of the line Mac. And it probably can. Search says install pulse effects and you'll be able to adjust the audio pulse effects. Um, I'll keep that in mind. Um, mm -hmm. I've uh, been using uh, Pulse Effects Toss for a couple huh. days now. Uh, it's really good for audio adjustment, and uh, Sleepy Eyes Vince was the one that um, okay. recommended me it because he did a video on Pulse Effects. Huh. You I should thought, really check it out. I thought that was just for like an equalizer or something like that. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. it does a, a lot more. So that locks in your audio input, no matter what you're using for your, for your mic? Mics. Yep. Okay. Thank you. This is why I love this this Linux community. See, see, this is the Linux A team right here. The people who know something that I don't. I've always believed that if you want to learn something, go with people who are better than you are. Well, not better than you are, but just a little bit more knowledge knowledgeable than than you. I mean, you know, we all have potential to be the best, obviously. Um. Yeah, I know. Presenter Arf says financing not available for over ten thousand. I I was almost there. Darn, I could finance this and pay it off in twenty years. You know. Yeah. But uh, kudos uh, to System Seventy Six for giving us an option. Linux is all about options. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I yeah. I completely agree, Toss. I mean, System76 has ramped up a lot of things over the past year or two. I mean, they're just pumping out their laptops left and right. And and I don't look at just System76 that's making an impact. I mean, think of, a, think of what also uh, Kubuntu is doing. They just released the Ubuntu yeah. Focus yeah. laptop. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about choice. Exactly, um, and... I mean, and when it comes to Linux, there's plenty of choices. But say, for example, you can't, uh, you can't, aren't able to afford one of these good laptops right away. Basically, just either buy a ThinkPad or buy a Dell machine. They work great. Exactly. By by the way, Ben, if 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 Gentoo is giving you a problem, I have some Motrin for you. If you wanna, I'll send it. <laughs> <laughs> I have this year. I couldn't resist. <laughs> we love you, man. Uh -huh. It's okay. Uh, better to buy System76 than a Mac. Um, for the same price, you're getting better hardware. Serge, I would normally agree with you. But I can't. And I'll, I'll tell you, and this goes back to Mac, Mac OS, or Apple products. They are a national, well, they're really an international standard. We oh, yeah. still don't have a national Linux standard for quality. Now, no, we don't. some people like Ubuntu. Linux Smith is a standard. Manjaro. Which one? <laughs> That's the problem. So uh, I don't know if it's a better system. I think it's just as good. But because we've yet to have, and I've been doing this for 14 years with, you know, with Linux, 10 years with the channel, we still don't have a national quality Linux standard. We just don't. And Which is something we need. Linus Torvalds, the father of Linux, hates it. He says the problem is fragmentation. And this is don't 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 yell at me. This is the the, the big boss, the real big daddy Linux is Linus Torvalds. Yes. Uh, that's the problem. So uh, now Chromebooks come close. They are a mm -hmm. based off agent. Of they are a national or international Linux standard that have done very well. I have one. Mm -hmm. I never heard of a Linux machine with no bugs. And so far, I don't use it every day. Granted, I haven't seen any bugs in it, but it's not enough. As a Windows user, mm -mm. a Chromebook is a national is a good start, but we need we need like an Ubuntu standard or Christ, even an Arch standard. I don't care as long as it works. That's why <laughs> yet I cannot say that a System76 is better because Mac specializes in multimedia, video editing, mm -hmm. audio, Stephanie. And Linux in general, as you've seen, now thank you for the tips on Pulse Audio on Pulse FX correction. Linux oh, yeah. still struggles to have a multimedia stand. We don't have it yet. Mm -hmm. And that's why no, I can't say it's better than a Mac. Mm -hmm. Is it just as good? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I will say one thing, Toss. Yeah, um, I ahead. agree with you on the multimedia standard. Um, because the thing is, if you think about it, there's one thing that is keeping Linux from achieving so much, and that is because when it comes to Windows, when it comes to Mac, both of them have achieved over decades on one single thing that Linux has not gotten good at yet, multimedia and gaming. It's gone better, but you know the I, I use Caden Live Video Editor, which is solid. It's right up there with the best oh. of Linux and Mac, in my opinion. But the newer versions of Caden Live suck. They deleted certain options. I think I showed you this where, like in the previous versions, when you drag your video down to the timeline, in Caden mm -hmm. Live, you can right click and have all your effects. They're all there. Boom, one big list. They took that away. Why? You have to go back and forth and add it. Stop it. The team at Caden Live, I love you, man. As I, I love you guys, but keep it simple, stupid. I hate to say that. You the took kiss away concept. the kiss. You took you, you took the friendliness away, and it irks me. Anyway, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. That was just a small rant. I still love Caden mm -hmm. Live version 18. It was the last version of 18, but but whatever mm -hmm. Caden Live, it's it's awesome. It's stable. But then they went to the newer ones. I'm like, well, why did they? Do that? I don't want that. Ugh. Now, um, there is one thing I forgot to mention, Toss. Yeah. Besides multimedia and besides gaming, yeah. which Mac and Windows do yeah. wonderfully, the others, there is one more standard that people quickly forget the tablets. Mm -hmm. Linux has not done well on tablets yet, whereas Windows and Windows and Android have. Well, Android is somewhat based off of Linux. I guess it's had somewhat its history in Linux. Somewhat. So if you want to get mm -hmm. picky, that's the truth. It isn't quite as uh, heavily based as, say, the Chromebooks, which is, which is Gen 2 Linux, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. No, but mm -hmm. Linux, and, and I'll save this topic for, the, for, a, for a Linux 18, but Linux is the most popular. Is the Linux, the Linux operating system has taken over the world. Not the desktop, but the Linux code, the Linux system. Oh, yeah. Think about it. Your phone, your GPS, right? Some computers, the International Space Station, supercomputers. It's taken over the world. Just not on the desktop because of fragmentation. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, and another thing I will say about Linux is, I mean, in the biggest way it has taken over the world is look at, look, look at the Linux enterprise industry. It's taken over a lot of supercomputers and a lot of businesses use it. Yes. Yeah. Low spec Linux says, hurry up and get that Apple monitor stand for just $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't need a thousand dollar. A thousand dollar Mac, I would consider e even a reverse one, but a stand. Of course, of course, if you got, if you have that kind of channel with 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 a gazillion subscribers, what's a thousand dollar stand? I'll take two. Mm -hmm. One for me, one for the missus. Big deal, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah. will say one thing about Macs, though. I mean, yeah. the biggest thing that they have against them right now is yeah. Apple just keeps making them way too expensive. Yeah. Well. Uh, part of that is their excellent customer service uh, that's built mm -hmm. into the price. And I got them credit. Yeah. I have friends who have Mac. I have one friend who had bought a new Mac. Three months later, the hard drive went kafui. She went to Apple. She got a new hard drive in 48 hours. That is ex excellent service. That's built in the price. Mm -hmm. Look, yep. of all the bad things about Apple that you want to say, service is not an issue. In my opinion, nope. And I don't have one, Mac. But from what I've seen from friends, that is not an issue. <clears throat> NKG says I don't. I don't even know why this channel even exists. Well, because we are reptilian a a aliens from from the planet Ubuntu that nobody knows us yet. Just just ask switch to Linux. Yeah, you won't see the fire behind me though. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Be nice, people. Present but, yeah, I, yeah. but yeah, I will say that 
one thing that Linux is doing good is it's doing one good thing, and that's it is making its way solely into the education department because a lot of schools are starting to teach p kids about Linux and starting to adapt a whole bunch of programs designed to get them to know the system, get to know hardware, and I think that's a wonderful yeah, thing. Yeah, I think so. Um, NKG says you're a Linux power user here. Okay, well that's cool. Yeah, this is not a, a um, mm. this is not a power user channel for Linux. I mean, there are mm -mm. other channels out there out there that do advanced stuff. And that's awesome, but this is not a Linux channel to convince l l Linux users to use Linux. We already have that. This is a channel to convince a billion Windows users to at least try Linux. That's why, in general, I've done a few advanced terminal command tutorials, but you mm -hmm. won't see that here because this is we with that we have already. I just exactly. don't want to be another channel. I want to be different. So no, I I understand why this channel. Well, this channel doesn't exist for Linux power users. You're st you're still welcome to watch. Mm -hmm. um, I will yeah. say one of the reasons why people are still switching to Linux in the first place is, is I mean, look at what Windows and Mac have been doing in the background. Granted, they both done great things. They have, <laughs> but if you but look at the data collection, look yeah. at the telemetry, yeah. look at the binding arbitration. Yeah. Oh yeah. We mentioned Chromebooks. One of the reasons Chromebooks have lasted. Uh, let's see, 2011, nine years? Someone correct me. Mm -hmm. Nine years is, it just works. Why do you mm -hmm. think Windows 7 lasted at least 10 years? It just works. And Chromebooks? Exactly. I got to give Google credit. They, they've created a, a system that, relatively unknown, that has grown into probably the number one Linux power machine in the country for, for the mass market, or maybe mm -hmm. the world. I gotta give them credit, and I have one. It is a low end one, just 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 to kind of play with. And honestly, if if, if it has bugs, I don't see them. You, you know how Windows has, it has like a it has like an antivirus, you know, piece of software. I think Chromebooks have not an antivirus, but an anti-bug software built in. Is it a bug you're gonna stop right there, not install, you know? But no. <laughs> Yeah, um, wow. yeah. Chromebooks do have a built-in antivirus, by the way, and from what I've heard, it works really nice. It's it's built-in security, and and the way it mm -hmm. works is right before it boots, it like self-tests, for lack of a better term, and if there's something wrong, it will tell you or just won't boot. Like if it senses malware, I think that's how mm -hmm. that works. I'm not an expert yet on Chromebooks. NKG says you have recommended my videos to beginners. Well, thank you. That's what this is all about. Again, there's a exactly. there's a gazillion people out there who are scared to try Linux and that's why I still do this I mean I, I mean uh, for myself I've only been uh, Linux uh, full-time since uh, 2018 but I've been a youtuber since like 2008 my channel has gone through several iterations over the years but I think currently transitioning my channel to a computer tech slash uh, trading card game yeah. channel has done good for me. I mean, I'm only just a few uh, a few uh, subscribers away from hitting 200. Um, Serge says try Cinderella, professional quality. Serge, is is that? Um, I don't know if I tried it once. Got I've, I've got I've done so many videos I lost track. But is that as user friendly as Caden Live? Does anybody know about Cinderella? I, I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. I, I think I've briefly looked. I don't know if I tested, but I don't know if that's because I like Kid and Light because if it's well for me, it's simple. Maybe not for a newbie. But, I, um, I mean, the only the only video editor that I've ever used at one point in time was OpenShot. That's the only one I ever used. That's never worked for me. Never, not a single version has worked, so I stopped. <laughs> no, I, I I don't know why. It just has it. Um. Anyway, but Cinderella, I will take a look at Cinderella. Thank you. You need to learn how to use it like any other other. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Canaan Life for me was not a large, a big learning curve. Of course, I've always been tech mind. It's not really fair for Windows you to say that, I suppose. But, but mm -hmm. all right, I'll take a look at it. See if it's as simple as you know kid in life so. yeah, there there's another one that i think you might be interested in too steve's very own uses it it's called a uh, flow blade yeah i think i saw that yeah yeah uh, i looked at 
Da Vinci. Man, that was that's a lot there. Yeah, uh, da Vinci Resolve. Yeah, that that does a lot, a bit too much. Mm -hmm. uh, here for my the, uh, learning for Cinderella, Serge. Thank you. Okay, I'll take a look at it, uh, and I'll take a look at the pulse effects too. Um, very good. Oh, um, another thing um, I wanted to let you know about, and I'm, and I don't even know if anybody informed you. Um, um, there's been an update on uh, Unity Eight. Okay. Uh, um, cool. Unity Eight is migrating to Debian. Oh. So, so very soon, within the next couple months, Debian will be getting the first release of Unity Eight. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Mm. Unity is a good desktop environment. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's the community has been working on it for a, nice. a, a little while now. The re development just ramped up. I caught the news article about it on uh, Destro Watch this morning. Okay. Very good. Let me go back. If there are people joining in late, uh, we talked about the Linux Dream Dream Machine or the Ice Cream Machine. No, but it's a Linux Dream Machine. <laughs> Uh, with with the laid out conf configurations, I think I think you can max this out to like fifteen thousand dollars. I got it maxed out to twelve thousand dollars. But if you wanted a serious Linux machine to edit any kind of video, this is the one you want uh, for about twelve thousand dollars. It is a USA based company. I've heard their machines are great. The customer service is superb. And uh, yeah, if I had the budget, I wouldn't mind buying this just out of curiosity. And then I could tell all my Mac friends, yeah, look what I got. <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can check out System76.com. Again, this is not a sponsored video by then. I wouldn't mind a sponsored video by System76. But take a look. They make laptops also. Uh, and uh, you can get more information on their website featuring Ubuntu and or Pop! OS somewhat of a, a lighter version of Ubuntu, I guess, last time I looked at it. It's been a while. But, yeah, well, check out well, System76. There's well, Pop! One OS, of the, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. One of the good things that Pop! OS is doing right now is a lot of people like Pop! OS because it's become really good for Linux gaming. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um... It's too bad we don't have a national Linux standard because I, I think this would be more viable or more, um, I don't know what sort of, you know, what's the word I'm looking for, more uh, easier to swallow for consumers versus mm -hmm. say a Mac. But that being mm -hmm. said, Linux has made a lot of strides and uh, yeah, I give System76 credit, so. Mm -hmm. I I yeah. think I I think 2020 is only the beginning toss. I think over the next 10 years we're going to see Linux do a lot of wonderful things. Yeah, I have faith I mean, in it. Yeah, I mean I mean look at what look at how good look at what people are doing with Raspberry Pis now. They're making VPNs, routers, yeah. all types of stuff out of them. Right. Um, I like I like how this looks. It has like this walnut, you know. Blends in nicely, I think, with the decor, you know. Oh, also, uh, also, as of next month, uh, uh, Ubuntu twenty point oh four releases. Uh, of the beta. Well, yeah. no, that no, well, that's I the, think beta. the beta. I think the beta, yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah, probably the... uh, take a look at it. I uh, probably will install since my backup desktop has nineteen ten, which won't go past uh, what nine months of support. So I'll probably upgrade mm -hmm. since it, that'll be an LTS. Um, yeah, I've had good luck. Look, Ubuntu has been rock solid. It's still not as 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 uh, lightweight as I would like it, or as as zippy as as I would like it. But it's been 100% mm -hmm. stable. I don't recall any crashes. No, I, 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 don't, I don't either. I don't, uh, I, yeah. So I've been you. I've been using Linux Mint 19.3 XFCE, and it's been great. I mean, I love. I mean, yeah. the thing that makes uh, people still want to use Ubuntu over anything else is because Ubuntu has wonderful service, and above all else, there's so many der derivatives of Ubuntu. There is a lot of choice. Well, that'll be a future topic for the Linux 18, which would be Ubuntu's legacy, uh, since they. Uh, Canonical uh, came about, uh, was born in 2014. I think it was 2014, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I got to give him credit. 
you know, because a lot of these shows have, have come and went. How many how, how many distributions are based off of Ubuntu? I think half of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that says a lot. Mm-hmm. San Rafael well, says twelve grand. Mm-hmm. Says wow. <laughs> yes. Well, think of well, think of what Ubuntu is based off of. It was de- derived from Debian. So right. basically, right. Ubuntu and Debian mm. are pretty much related. Yes. Right. Um, yeah. Absolutely. So. You know, it's it's. Uh, I think this maxes out at. Let, let me see if I can really max this out. So we'll go with this. Go with that. Go with this. Uh, this. This. Oh this. Since we're since we're dreaming, haha. We're dreaming like crazy. Go with this. This is gonna be tough as this. Uh, I really don't need a monitor. Uh, what the heck? Let's add it. <laughs> the warranty. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, there you go. $16,385 for the ultimate computer. The Terminator computer model. <laughs> yep. So there you go, folks. Uh, can Linux compete with Mac? Can this machine compete with Mac? I don't know. I don't have one, so I. Oh, what is it again, Tom? It can't compete. Yeah, yeah well, it, it can't. Can well, it? Can it? You know, until we get a national standard, it really that's that's the draw. But can it compete? Sure, it can. Hello, Chase. Welcome. I, mm. We talked about they are competing with Mac Pro. That is true. Yep. And sixteen thousand three hundred eighty-five dollars. So there you go, Woo! folks. For those of you who thinks that Linux sucks, that's a lot of sucking for sixteen grand. But no. Um, no, System76 is a fine company. They've been around 10 years or if not more. And they have they have excellent service from what I understand. So there you go. There you go, 16 grand. The uh, I guess this is the uh, the uh, the Toyota or the Lexus of Linux-based machines, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They keep on going and going and going. Awesome. So if anybody buys one, let me know. I'm still waiting for someone to send me a report of the $2,000 Linux phone. I got a feeling I'll be waiting a long time. Yeah, probably. Yes, and Raphael, they do have a payment plan, but not above ten grand. So I'm gonna have to lower my standards. Wee. <laughs> System76 has the same polish as Apple. I would say so. Yeah. yeah so. So if anybody buys one of these machines, let me know. I'll be happy to put you on the show. I got a feeling no one in the Linux community is going to buy one because they just can't afford it. But if you do, and if you want to remain anonymous, let me know. Send me some pics. Heck, if somebody from System76 has one who wants to jump on the show, please do. You know. That would be something. Uh, it would wipe the floor against Apple performance-wise. Maybe it could, low spec. Maybe it could. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I would love to have one, just so I could speed up the rendering of the videos. I could take a nice 4K concert of Stephanie, like 90 minutes, you know, chop it up, correct it, do the editing, and, and I could edit that 90-minute video in like 9.6 seconds. Like, boom, done, coffee. That'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Instead of waiting all day, you know. Anyway. So, but that, that's what caught my attention this morning. It's no surprise. Like I said, that company's been around... 10 years, maybe longer. And that says a lot. That means that they're doing something right. I think they're based out of Colorado. Uh, so I wish them all the best. And uh, yeah, if anybody gets one, let me know. I know it's going to be hard, someone who uses Linux, to get something like that. But if somebody does, um, you're welcome to. You have an open invitation to come on the show. See if they will send you one to keep if you do a review on it. I seriously doubt it. San Rafael, but look, if somebody from System76 watches this, want to send me one? I mean, I won't keep it, but I'll send it back to you, but I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think, I don't think companies like that look, well, probably shouldn't say this, look fondly on win, Windows users promoting Linux to Windows users. I hope I'm wrong, but, and I understand why, you know. But uh, if they send me one, sure. I'm only going to get a yes or a no. That depends if I send a request uh, through Sicily. (laughs) 
<laughs> so we'll see. Um, I think Michael D'Angelo from Forbes has Stelio. I don't. I don't know. Uh, you saw someone on YouTube with one, really? Okay. Interesting. Um, I guess. I guess I could ask Sir Raphael. Probably the best answer I think I would get is someone from the company to join me who uses one for work. You know, it's probably the response I would get. Now, if I had a gazillion subscribers, I could probably get one because that would be potential customers for the company. So, uh, when so um, about the Linux A team, when's this reunion going to happen? Well, um... I'm looking at a, a bi-weekly show, okay? Okay. If we can get sponsors, it could be weekly. Uh, but you know how hard it is to get uh, recurring sponsors for anything Linux-related because the market just ain't there. You know? mm -hmm. and, and I'm not going to do it. You know, look, I've, I, get, I get emails from companies that I haven't heard of except for one. I got an email from one company. I got two emails waiting for my reply. I said, I would be happy to do a sponsored video for your product. I won't mention the name. They want to know how much I would charge. I said, I, I send them an offer. It, it, it was a low ball offer. I, you know, I, I do this for fun. I got no reply. I got crickets. I'm like, really? <laughs> okay. So I'm leery when it comes to, unless it's a company that I know, um, to do sponsor stuff but if we can get sponsors it doesn't have to be from a company it could be like an anonymous donor or someone that we know that wants to sponsor the Linux A team mm -hmm. I will be happy to do it but right now as it stands it'll be bi-weekly mm -hmm. Friday nights it looks like Steve right now who's not working uh, will be able to be my co-host uh, Friday nights he's free so it'll be 10 p.m. Eastern time Subject to change, then maybe we'll do one Sunday show a month for my friends overseas. I know there are lots of you overseas who always miss these shows, and I apologize. So that's we're looking at three shows a month, maybe more. Okay. Now that's going to be separate of the Thank Thank Toss It's Friday show where I do like a, a whole hodgepodge of different things, you know, news nonsense and mm -hmm. stuff. Whereas the Linux A team will focus mainly on Linux, mainly, you know. Um, but that's where we're looking at three shows a month, bi-weekly, Friday nights, 8 p.m. Uh, I do need at least one co-host who can be there because this is Linux a team and not a team of one. I don't mind going mm -hmm. solo, but to, you know, when you we talk in team, it's two people or more. Right. So, <laughs> of course, it could be more than one co-host. If you guys want to come on, that's fine. But Steve says he should be available. Steve's, ver Steve's very old, by the way. If you don't know, check out his channel. Uh, so he, he can be the co-host, him or more, Friday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and we'll just go from there. Will the shows be private or will they be public? No, they'll, they will be public. They will, okay. These will not be private shows. Uh, again, I will still do private shows when I can for these supporters. And we talk about off-topic stuff, adult stuff. And if you haven't joined me on a private show, I've been... Ben has been on. They're freaking hilarious. Yes, they and, are. And I do those as a thank you for this support. You, you can join for as little as a dollar a month. I mean, if if Patreon did, did, did 50 cents a month, I would do that. But it has to be a dollar. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you are a supporter, join, us, join me for the private chats. So. But that's where we're at. Okay. So I think I, the last one was 2014. It was me, Spatry, Infinity Galactic, the original Twill, mm. which was Jordan, I think, was on once. I, I think Alan Pope may have been on one. Mm. And it's, it's, it's been a while, but then uh, life gets yeah. in the way, folks, you know. Yeah. Uh, so. how, um, how is Spatry doing, by the way? Have know. you heard from him? I haven't. No. Okay. <sighs> I don't know. Um, but that's where we're at, so... Um, so look for that uh, maybe Friday coming up, uh, which is Valentine's Day. How appropriate. We, we may have to do a Linux 18 slash news nonsense Valentine. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, 
Uh, so we'll see how it goes. So right now, bi-weekly, starting maybe Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern here lo locally in the state of Ohio. It'll hey. be public. Mm -hmm. And we'll go from hey. there. Yeah. So this will be the first time in six years that all of you have been reunited. Well, for the Linux A team... Uh, mm -hmm. It was 2014. Was the lag show, lag? And I think the topic was the future of Linux, maybe gaming or something like that. Uh, yeah, it, that name was given to me by a subscriber from Sweden, Switzerland, Romania. I don't remember. And I thought I like that the Linux safety. Da, 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 you know, it's awesome. So <laughs> we did like. I don't know how many we did, to be quite honest. But they were fun. Great title. Bringing out the best of the best. Mm -hmm. And since his Linux has grown, I think, uh, in terms of awareness to the to the public over the course of six years, really all over the course of ten years, I think it was time to bring it back. So I'm more than happy to. Mm -hmm. so, so we'll, you know, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. If anybody wants to sponsor one of those shows anonymously... Some of you have sponsored uh, the channel or helped out the channel anonymously, and that's fine. You know, so we'll go from there. All right, we're going to wrap this up here soon. If there are any more questions or comments, uh, if somebody new is watching, uh, you have a question, you can remain anonymous if you want to. Uh, <laughs> now's your chance. Um, uh, I have at least one question. Mm -hmm. um, um, since 2020 is a brand new year, yeah. I was wondering mm -hmm. what are what are your plans for the immediate future when it comes to distro reviews? Well, I'm always going to take a look at Ubuntu, Ubuntu Mate, anything that is uh, related for beginners. I'm usually going to look at those because that's what I've done okay. and what I still do. You you probably won't ever see me on Arch. Nothing against Arch. But it's just not fair to newbies. You won't see me okay. do Gen 2. Although if I do have this on me, Motrin, I may take a look at Gen 2. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anything that is newbie related, Zorin, you okay. know what I mean. Like Peppermint, others, I'll probably take a look at, sure. I just stopped I, bistro I, hopping mm. because it was pointless. You know. Me. Uh, about uh, peppermint, uh, what did you think of the of the news that uh, Mark passed? It was sad that we lose the one of the founding members of Debian a few years ago. Uh, it's look, enjoy life to the fullest uh, every mm -hmm. day as much as you can. Put life first and everything else second, including that that includes Linux or Mac or whatever that you use. You know, I don't want to get too you know philosophical here, but it's sad. But yeah, enjoy life as much as you can, and that means doing things that make you happy, doing things that make you productive, doing things that make you laugh, doing things just for the fun of it. You know, it's mm -hmm. in, in, you know last year one of the reasons why I did a bunch of uh, news nonsense shows with Stephanie, even though she's not really news nonsense person as it were she's a great singer because it was just fun you know you know she had a few puns thrown in here like a few news stories but they were just fun to do and i don't regret those at all you know and stephanie just passed a thousand subscribers okay. congratulations okay. stephanie and uh but the point is you just never know when it's time so mm -hmm. enjoy life to the fullest yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna take a long time, but I but I know the peppermint team is really strong. They'll be able to get through this, and I think so. They'll they'll continue Mark's wonderful vision and give us the best peppermint OS we've ever had. I would say so. Yeah, they yeah. will. Yeah, I would say so. But yeah, the peppermints. I mean, the, when I first tried peppermint eight years ago, I thought it had potential. I mean, look, I. I don't want to say I discovered, but I guess you could. I discovered Zorn before it was popular. I discovered Peppermint, you know, before it was popular. And, um, you know, it's Linux has come a long way. And there mm -hmm. are choices out there. If you're a, a former Windows 7 user, you should not be using Windows 7. You just should not Heavens be. No. Ransomware is on the rise <laughs> through the roof. It's crazy. 
uh, you should not be using Windows 7 if you don't care for Windows 10 but you don't have time to mess with the Linux distro a distribution try a Chromebook maybe that's all you mm -hmm. need it's it's I don't know but try it yeah also um, maybe not now but maybe at some point in the immediate future as well will we see the return of life in Linux where you and Tom get together again it's hard because he's generally available uh, uh, Sunday nights I think is his free time uh, free time after 9 or 10 and you know what sometimes I am sometimes I'm not depending if I have to get up early Monday morning Mm -hmm. Because he does this thing full time, I do not, and that's 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 I hate to say a problem, but that's life. So whereas mm -hmm. I'm usually yeah. almost always available Friday nights, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, Saturday nights I I tend to reserve for my boy for like dinner or plants, but we oh, usually yeah. get done around nine p.m. So that's not so. F that's why Friday nights are good for me, and they've always been good for me. But Sunday nights, we we did I think ten of them. I, I lost track. I would love to bring that back too, but it's hard because I don't do this full time. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, but if I could bring that back on a regular basis, mm -hmm. yeah, but that's going to depend mm -hmm. on you know, you know, supporters of the channel and sponsors and all that, anonymous donations. Mm -hmm. It all adds up to where it would be worth it. And right now, it just isn't. Okay. So that's where we're at. So, um, all right, I'll bring up the web page here again. This is this was the main topic for today. If you're watching this late, Darth Tux is in the house. Welcome. Uh, you remember Wendy and Level One Linux reviewed Level One Linux reviewed one a while ago. Okay. Um, very good. So. But if you're in the market for a Linux-based machine, uh, I think these these desktops started what two thousand dollars or something like that. Laptops less than that. Take a look at this. If you don't need anything higher end and want to get started with Linux-based on a more friendlier price point for the masses, check out Chromebooks. Uh, they're awesome. They've lasted nine years, and it's for a reason. They have proven themselves. So there you go. I may take a look at Pop OS again. That's been a while. Mm, I did notice maybe. it was a little bit faster than standard Ubuntu, so yeah. Mm. Mm. The one thing I have noticed is that a lot of distros come and a lot of distros go, but hey, I mean, yeah. it happens. Mm. Right. Yeah, nothing lasts forever, obviously. There's some yeah. uh, laptops starting at about 1000 so there mm. you go. There's, there's even now a 4K Chromebook for less than a thousand dollars. That's awesome, a 4K screen. That's nice. Oh yeah, I know this one here with Pop OS, but that's awesome. I mean, that's 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 the choices that you have nowadays, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, when I'm just surfing online or playing music, I'll go to my Chromebook. <laughs> it doesn't have to reboot normally during the updates, as is Windows. So, you know, I use Windows now maybe 10 percent of the time. That's how good Linux has gotten, you know. Uh, and I know with Linux, it tells me ahead of time, do I need to reboot or not? It's usually once. <laughs> Whereas Windows 10, oh, there was one time it took so long to do the updates, I grew a beard. But I'm up, up, ksh, no, but uh, anyway. All right, we're going to wrap this up in five minutes. So if anybody else okay. wants to say hello, now's your chance. Final call. For Linux alcohol. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you who use Arch probably drink alcohol. No, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. I've been drinking a Citrus Twist from Kroger's Lemon Twist. It's pretty good. <laughs> and I will download uh, Pulse. What is it called? Pulse Effects? Pulse Effects. I'll take a look at it. I will download it now, but I don't want to interrupt the stream. But I'll take mm -hmm. a look at it. I'll take a look at it, see if that'll help out mm -hmm. the uh, locking in the audio input uh, for the microphone. But, um, yeah, it's usually I use either uh, OBS Jitsi or um, uh, StreamYard. If I'm correct, um, if I'm correct, um, um, later this year, isn't Google Hangouts supposed to end? 
Yes, I believe this is the last year of it. I'm surprised there's no uh, official replacement for it. That's kind of unusual. It's been around a long time. I, I would be surprised if they have nothing to replace it, considering how popular it is. Um, yeah, it's still pretty popular. I, doesn't Switch to Linux still still use it? I think he does. He, he uses not through it YouTube. Here and there. Yeah, not through YouTube because it's gone, but just for this you know standalone app. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. It 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 ends, and I haven't. Uh, uh, as of last month, I haven't mm. seen anything. Yeah. Mm, well, the well, um, I've been using a Streamyard a lot, and that's what I've been sticking with. It just works. Yeah. It, it, it it's that it's really good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I've used it with Ricky just us a couple of times, and it works pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. However, we still default to Hangouts, truthfully. Well, it's been reliable, so mm -hmm. you know it's been around a long time, and you know, you know when it was integrated with with uh, with YouTube, it was great. I don't I don't know why they took that away, but I don't know either. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why they took that away. I mean, truthfully, Hangouts works. I, don't I mean, Hangouts has been reliable for pretty much almost a decade. Maybe they could replace it with something called Goo Outs. <laughs> I love Google. <laughs> well, I think I think they've sort of done that already. Because isn't there like a Hangouts like thing in their like uh, uh, enterprise G Suite application thing? Uh, I think there is something that's paid. If I'm not mistaken. I'd have to look at it, but I I, I think mm -hmm. it's there. Yeah, I think it is there. Mm -hmm. it might be. Yeah. The uh, the other thing that I've also looked into as well as Zoom, but I would Zoom's have to good. get the Zoom's good. I would have to get that uh, membership in order to uh, make the good. chats last a long time. Yeah, I think it's like a forty minute uh, time limit. Forty minute cap. Yeah. Cap. I mean, if you do mm -hmm. if if you're going solo with one guest, that should be enough for a quick topic. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, but it. I mean, you could. Do 39 minutes, you know, delete, come back, do another one. But that's kind of annoying, you know. Yeah. You have to splice it all together. Yeah. And no, but Zoom, Zoom is good. Look, what they charge is not unreasonable. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's good. I think that's what Big Daddy Linux uses, it, right? I think every week, not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. Lin Zoom is good, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it works. I mean, but. And, and I believe Destination Linux uses it too. Okay. Yeah, they do. They probably do. Yeah. Um, which that which which um I'm I'm very excited that they have their own network now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah so. all, all I gotta say is the age the the golden age of Linux podcasting has truly begun. Yes, it has. Yeah. It's it's upon us. That's for dang sure. All right. Well, it doesn't look like any other new comments here in the chat that I've noted. I think we caught up. Uh, let me go back here. Yes, I think we're caught up in the chat. So, yes. all right. So, all right. So, those of you who came in late, you you, you can re replay this once YouTube stops uh, finishes processing uh, this. So. Yeah, if anybody from System76 watches this, would like to come on, talk to me about your machine, yeah. so love to have you. Uh, uh, if, if anybody buys one, so surprise me and let me know. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, Toss, uh, um, yeah. one thing before we go, I wanted to tell you, I have the phone number for System76 support, if at the worst case. Interesting. If you need it. I don't have a machine, so. I wouldn't need their well, support. I mean, if you wanted to bring somebody on. Uh, well, I mean, I could probably send them an email, contact them. Yeah, if you need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I spoke to one person who worked, not spoke, but sent me an email. He he, he actually worked at System76. This was a few years yeah. ago, and we couldn't quite get our schedules to match, and I never heard back from him. But uh, Yeah. Oh, well. Well, I I am friends with Emma from there, so interesting. You know, okay, I can put it in a good word. She so. wants to come on. She can explain why that machine is worth sixteen grand. <laughs> so yeah. she, if you want to send her an invitation, she's welcome to come on. 
I, yeah, I think, I, I think we've exchanged uh, emails once or twice in the past. Yeah. The, the, the rings of I bell. I might email her. And just the say, rings hey, of bell. Yeah. Of you and, yeah. Yeah. She wants to come on talk about the machines. She can have the the whole hour show. I don't care. Yeah. Man. Well, Why not? I'll, I'll let her know. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Let's go to right. wrap this up. So uh, we'll wrap this up for today. Thank you. And uh, yeah, look for the next. Um, I need I need to do the uh, Linux installation guide part two of two. How to install Ubuntu Mate on, on a ThinkPad, a full install. No, no Windows. So I have to no record windows. that. No Windows, man. No Windows. You know, you know maybe a few doors, oh, but no Windows. Hey, no, but just kidding. But uh, I got to do that one, so to finish that up for all the newbies out there. So, all right. Well, everyone have a stable day. And uh, remember, all those right. of you who use Gentoo, Motrin works best. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think he's expired. I know, like, is expired Motrin any good? I don't know. I have to look it up. I don't know. I wouldn't risk it. It's expired a few years. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Like, if like it's too weak? I don't know. I don't know. I'm it just. I'm just kind of curious. I'm going to look it up. I mean, and what do you do with this? Do you throw this, flush it down the toilet? It's probably not a good yeah. idea. See you I later, guys. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Later. Okay, Yugi. Anyway, thoughts for another day. All right, guys. Adios.